Welcome to my video on building a Chrome extension using a large language model from Hugging Face. This type of feature will allow you to add a little AI powered magic into your web browsing. For this demo, I have chosen the sentiment model to show the power <clears throat> of using AI in a web extension. I've always been a fan of web extensions because they allow me to have everything at my fingertips. There are a few short steps we should review for the process. First, we will set up the environment, then set up the project, followed by code, testing, and publishing the extension. Before you begin, verify you have the necessary tools installed. You will need Node.js NPM and a code editor. One easy option I always like is Visual Studio Code. You can install the extensions by clicking on the appropriate button in the left-hand column. To set up the project, create a new folder for your extension project in your file system. Every Chrome extension needs a manifest file. For this project, we're going to create a file named manifest.json in your project folder. This file will contain essential information about the extension, like the name, the permission you're giving it, the version, what background service workers will run, and what scripts that will run. You include any special icons that you're going to use in the manifest also. Next, we create the HTML and CSS. Create an HTML file named popup.html. This file, along with the style sheet we're going to create, is going to be the user interface for your extension. Create a file called popup.css for your user interface style sheet. The next step is to create a JavaScript file named popup.js. In this file, we're going to create all the required <clears throat> code for interacting with the Hugging Face LLM functions. Now I'm ready to build the webpack, so I click on Build Webpack. When it completes successfully, I can try it out. Make sure you're running Chrome in developer mode and navigate to Chrome colon slash slash extensions. Click Load Unpacked and choose the location for your extension files. I already have my extension pinned to my menu bar. So if I click on the icon, you will see the pop-up UI that gets created with the HTML file. Then I can enter a blurb into the input box and you'll be able to see the sentiment <clears throat> that gets returned. As you can see, the shoes are pretty ugly returns a negative sentiment. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it.